Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do our um, March the 4th just for today in a meditation for you. Uh, let's go ahead and get into that meditation. March 4th is entitled The Process. The Process. This program has become a part of me. I understand more clearly the things that are happening in my life today. I no longer fight the process. That comes from the basic text, page 127. In active addiction, things happen seemingly without rhyme or reason. We just did things, often without knowing why or what the results would be. Life had little value or meaning. The 12 step process gives meaning to our lives. In working the steps, we come to accept both the dark and bright sides of ourselves. We strip away the denial that kept us from comprehending addiction's effect on us. We honestly examine ourselves, picking out the patterns in our thoughts, our feelings, and our behavior. We gain humility and perspective by fully disclosing ourselves to another human being. In seeking to have our shortcomings removed, we develop a working appreciation of our own powerlessness and the strength provided by a power greater than we are. With our enhanced understanding of ourselves, we gain greater insight into and acceptance of others. The 12 steps are the key to a process we call life. In working the steps, they become a part of us and we become a part of the life around us. Our world is no longer meaningless. We understand more about what's happened in our lives today. We no longer fight the process. Today, in working the steps, we live it. Just for today, life is a process. The 12 steps are the key. Today, I will use the steps to participate in that process, understanding and enjoying myself and my recovery. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the Wii version of Serenity Prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Beautiful meditation, isn't it? talking about the process you know I felt that way I felt like I just lived my life haphazardly I just did this and did that and it just really sometimes when I would you know start coming to it would amaze me the trouble or the situation uh, I had gotten myself into and oftentimes I would belittle myself and talk mean, you know, to myself, have bad thoughts about myself because I couldn't believe that a person like myself would get myself into these ridiculous situations. And when I would come to, I would realize that once again, the drugs had turned on me. They didn't make me nicer. They made me worse. Um, they didn't make my life better. It made it worse. Um, and so I started to see that my decision-making, my thought process wasn't always the best anyway, but I began to see that my decision-making lack maturity and spirituality and all of the positive virtues that I would want it to have. And regardless to who I said I was, my actions would tell other people who I really was. 
and who I said I was and who I really was, was not adding up. You know, and people began to question my intention because, well, last night you did such and such or you behaved such and such a way. Or I didn't know you were so violent. And I would just be appalled and I would go into this, you know, headspace of look at you. You're such a fake. You're, you don't deserve these friendships. You don't deserve anything. And I would just talk so, so, so bad to myself. And so, yeah, I can relate to this part that said that, you know, I did a lot of things that didn't seem to have rhyme or reason, didn't make sense. And I paid a high price for a low level of living. Have you heard that before? That we paid a very high price for a, a very low level of living. That basic text says that our living skills were re reduced to the animalistic level. And I'm paraphrasing, of course, but generally speaking, that's exactly what it says, right? Um, that we start to live um, animal-like with the bare minimum. I know some of you can relate to it turning you know the men would tell stories of turning their in uh, underwear inside out and wearing them for another stretch uh, the women can tell stories and probably men to going into restrooms and bathing in public sinks in the restrooms um just looking for food in the garbage dump hawking you know, people dumping out things so that you can run to them and pick out what you felt you needed to keep warm or whatever. You know, today we don't have to do as much, even as addicts, to survive um, because there's a lot of causes out there, agencies that will help us. But if we look back on it, and you can look at your own story and you shouldn't have to look too far back just go back to your last day of using. However long that was, if it was two weeks, look at that. If it was two years, look at that. If it was 20, look at that. And we can see that we definitely fall in line with this meditation. Uh, things happen seemingly without rhyme or reason. We did do things without knowing why or what the results would be in truly life had very little value or meaning to us. That was our situation, but it's not today. Today we are of a clean mind and with the 12 step process in our lives and working the steps and using them, practical application of, of the 12 steps that we say we uh, are working starts to make things look a lot better than they were. Things begin to line up a lot better than they ever did. Um, lost dreams begin to awaken and truly new possibilities arise. Um, we're living a better life. I won't say necessarily our best life, but we're living a better life today, aren't we? I know that I am. You know, I look around sometimes and I always see what I'm not doing. Are you like that? You see the things that you haven't accomplished, the things you said you were going to do and you haven't done them yet. I'm like that some days too. Matter of fact, I would say probably throughout every day at some point in time, I have these automatic negative thoughts about myself. Um, and I wouldn't want to share them with anyone, but I'm human just like everyone. And they come to my mind, but I'm more able to dismiss them quickly, right? I'm able to allow myself room and space to not be perfect. And that is really a privilege of being in the program 
But this practical application of the 12 steps and the spiritual principles in our lives, like the 12 steps says, right? Maybe you haven't gotten to that step, but the beginning of every meeting, we read the 12th step, right? Having had a spiritual awakening, right? As a result of these steps, right? As a result of the spiritual principles of the steps, actually, we're able to apply what we've learned in all of our affairs. In essence, that's what it says. You have learned a lot. You've gained a lot of understanding and now you're able to apply it in all your affairs, but not only in your affairs, right? But now in the way that you are of service, we try to carry the message to the addict that still suffers. We try to do that. And there's many ways that we can do it, but you don't have to wait till you actually physically write the 12 step to do this. At any point in time, you can choose to apply spiritual principles in all your affairs. The beautiful part about this program is that it shows you how to apply them in a very practical manner. You know, we learn in the basic text, if it's not spirit, uh, practical, it's not spiritual. I want to make sure you hear that. If it's not practical, it's not spiritual. Not that if it's not spiritual, it's not practical. No, it has to be practical first because we are living in the here and now. We're flesh. And we have to be able to operate and move and do things in the flesh it's physical in a sense, right? Uh, and what I act out or what I do in, in my day-to-day -day life generally speaks to where my spirit is, right? How I'm doing spiritually. So we apply this in all of our affairs because it's, these are spiritual principles that are practical. They can be practiced. You see the two um, words, the base words, right? Do you see that? practice, practical, right? And so we're able to actually do them. But the basic text, the 12 steps, so much of our literature shows us how to go about practicing them. How many of us have heard, don't get into a relationship for the first year? No, it's not in the basic text. It's a strong suggestion that you just focus on yourself. Well, I came into in a in a relationship so now what well can you apply that singularity in the sense of working on oneself can you apply that why because it tells us that relationships tend to be a terribly painful area we tend to defocus we switch the attention from ourselves to that of others and a lot of times because of that, people young in recovery don't get the work done. I mean, as a matter of fact, uh, you don't have to be that young in recovery. You can have some years clean and get into a relationship and defocus. Many of us get so attached to the person we're in a relationship with that if they even move to the left or the right, we think we're going to lose our life. We're going to stop breathing. And, and men can be like that as well. But I know as a woman, we tend to be like that. I got my man, even if it's a quarter of a man, <laughs> I got my man. And if he dared to say that he doesn't want to be in a relationship with us or we're overbearing, we feel like it's the end of the world. No, we have already read and understood in the basic text that relationships tend to be a uh, painful area, excuse me, because we defocus. And when we defocus and the hurt comes, we back away from the basics, right? Failure to be able to apply the spiritual principle of anonymity as well as, right, integrity, self-care there's things that we lack when we let that happen and so today that doesn't have to be us I don't want that to be you 
You know, today I want you to be more vigilant about your recovery because you have gained insight. You are able to see your patterns of thoughts and feelings and your behaviors, and you can see them coming a mile down the road and you can just reach into your tool belt and pick out the tool that needs to be applied to that coming or existing situation. Today, you have some choices and I would love, 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 love for you to make the right choice that would further your recovery, not hamper it. My name is Mighty String and we're talking about life being a process. We're actually living, living life today <laughs> instead of waiting to die. Instead of committing suicide on a payment plan by using drugs regularly. No, that's not us today. Let's participate in this process that we have. Understanding not only that, but also enjoying who you are and your recovery. My name is Maddie Stream. I'm going to have a beautiful day on purpose. You already know this, and I hope that you will do the same. Talk to you tomorrow.